So today we're looking at a revisit at the Hacienda del Alimo Golf Resort. The last time I come here was back in August of 2016, so we're talking a couple of years at least. Four years, I think. Oh, it's a roundabout. As you can see, I'm driving into the sun. So we're just going to go through the gates first. Yeah, thank you. So you got 24 hour security here. Got a different crew on when I came here last. Right. This is another golf resort that they didn't fully complete. You will see plots of land, especially at the moment on your left hand side that's um, all rooted out with all the roads, but no no property yet to be built but they are selling off the land now to the right these are holiday lets most of these homes are not people living in them but people on holiday and in there we'll have a look at that later on they've got like communal pools but there's no shops or anything in there other than just uh, pools but they're nicely laid out I'm not really sure how old this place is. We're probably talking about 2010, maybe. But I haven't been here for over a year, really. But I, it's always nice to see that everything's been kept well. All the hedges and that are cut back. The trees have all been trimmed. Now, we're, at the moment, we're just going past the sports bit. We'll look at that as well later on because there's supposed to be a, like a snack bar in there. Um, and there's some cars parked there already. But they've got tennis courts, paddle courts, they've got full size football pitch, they've got bowling for the bowling people. Now we're already starting to see the golf course on our left. Now here is um, the main sort of, I think it's the golf club. Now it's also, oh, I've about the bumps. <laughs> here is supposed to be called the Spaniard. Um, and also there's an estate agent office in there as well. We're a bit early, it's just nine o'clock, so you're not gonna see a lot of people about anyway. The reason I come out early in the morning is mainly because it gets hotter in the day, so it's easier for me to get about. So we, we've gone past the, sort of the, the main center part, and we're going up to the hotel. Now the hotel, when I was here in 2016, was shut. It was taken over by the Sheridan and they called it the Sheridan Hotel and Spa in 2018. But this year, because of the COVID, obviously they, had, they couldn't be open. So they've shut down. Now there is a rumor that somebody has taken it over, but I you know, haven't seen any proof of that. So it'd be interesting to see if, if new owners have taken over the hotel, but probably not. Looking at the golf course, looks all right. So it looks like the golf course is open. Some of the golf resorts in the area, they have shut down the golf resort, the golf part of it. There's some new buildings going on, which is good to see. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna stop off at the Spanish village. It's got two sort of main centers here. The Spanish village and also the Oasis. Uh, I'll tell you a bit more about Oasis later on, but we'll have a look at the Spanish village first. Now we're just coming up to the hotel, which is on the left now. It's a massive complex. But from what I can see, it's all overgrown over there. It's all, you know, they've removed the sign. So we're coming into yeah, we're coming into the Spanish village. I'm just getting my bearings. You know, we, we could have turned left there and going into that way. At the moment, we're going along the side of the oasis, which is on the left there. I think that what that was supposed to be was a holiday resort, a bit like a Pontins thing. But as always, it never really took off. Uh, the banks took it over. 
Now, when I was coming here in 2016, the banks were releasing those properties um, pretty cheap, but it'd be interesting to see if there's anybody moved into them, really. Now, there was some building going on over to my right when I was here in 2016. It looks like we finished one of them, and the other two, they haven't really done but I put up a photograph of that because um, it had a pool on the front. But looking at it, it looks like it's empty anyway. So I know he's moved into it. So it, this is the entrance to the left now into the Oasis. Okay, so we can, we can drive in there, that's good. That's good to know. And over to the right now is the residential area. They've got two sort of big residential areas. They've got play parks there, got plenty of walking area. Even though, obviously, with the COVID, it's all been taped off at the moment. Now, now you're gonna notice a, a huge amount of sort of open space now, especially to the right. This is where they didn't get round to building on it, but they were gonna build more property out here, obviously, but that never happened. So I'm gonna turn here, if I remember rightly. This takes us into the Spanish, but you can see all the, it's quite open space now. Uh, and we've got a big for sale sign there. So they're obviously sending the land off. So we're going into the Spanish village. That's new. That's, uh, that wasn't there before. Yeah, let's go down there then. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one. So it sounds like obviously you have your villa built right on the golf course. That seems to be, a, on, there's another golf resort that I've been doing, the Mossa one. They've been doing this, they've been building villas right on the golf course itself. One million euro villas. Okay, so looks like that's something new at the Spanish. That's a swimming pool that's been built. All right, so this is a Spanish village. So we're gonna have a nosy round here. I'm just gonna park up. See, but that's the supermarket. It's shut on Tuesdays, but the rest of the week it starts from uh, opens at 9:30. And if you notice, it's windy. Very windy. Just to remind you of the time, guys. It's quarter past nine in the morning, so you're not going to see anything open yet. But this this would be the restaurant. Just looking at the board there. It, they have a quiz on a Monday, Chinese on a Tuesday menu. So, not be nice sat out here. Just going to show you over here now. moment now when I was back here in 2016 there's on about building a, a swimming pool obviously an outside one and just looking at the sign there it's for members only so what I would imagine if you bought an apartment at the Spanish village then you got access to the swimming pool would you want to go in it now probably not but it's obviously a, if you got you probably get a key as well so you can go in and have a swim 
but you won't get me going in there. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention was the reason why it is pretty quiet is because it's a bank holiday here in Spain. But we just went past the supermarket and it was just opening up, so that, that's a good sign. It's right in front of us is the letterboxes for all the apartments on the Spanish village. Anyway, we're moving on now. We're going over to the Oasis. So we're going into the Oasis now. Now, when I come here in 2016, nearly all these places are empty, but the bank um, was letting them go. I think I saw a price in the Spanish village for about 60,000 upwards, I'm not too sure. But I, I think this was supposed to be like a holiday resort place. But on this place, if you know, when we was in the Spanish village, they're all different colors, but here they're all the same color which does make it a little bit regimental. Um, now, I don't honestly think it makes much difference on here about it's a bank holiday. I don't think we're gonna see a lot of people. We're looking about at the moment. I've just seen one car. The bins have all got... They're all in bins, aren't they? There's no, it's all the bins are in cages. Yeah, well, wasn't there you go. Those so are that, all wood. Is that round about? Yeah, they are wood, aren't they? Yeah. All right, okay, so that's the stuff. So panels up there, Sean? Yeah, yeah, some of them got, I mean, there's the um, tennis courts. They got communal pools there. I think they actually got like a proper sort of clubhouse. Anyone for tennis? <laughs> Not today, Jose. <laughs> Not today, I'm, I'm just, the only reason I'm doing this, because, uh, it was a dead end. <laughs> now I'd imagine some of these have probably got underground parking, but others haven't. And also, I think some of these have got, actually got dip pools, if I remember rightly. But it doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, activity. Oh yeah, the windscreen guys, sorry about the windscreen. I did try to clean it this morning, but he used a dry cloth. <laughs> I didn't have the chamois. Yeah, I think we park. We park around here somewhere. Oh, there's some cars down the bottom. Come on down there. That's what I mean. So I don't they're a bit weird, aren't they? Yeah. It's not completely empty. I think if we park here, um, I don't think we're being intruding on anybody. So what it's doing is actually showing you how to get to the Hell Tower. So I'd, I'll be honest guys, I don't really know is this connected to the Hell Tower, but it's obviously showing where we are now, the route to the Hell Tower. So possible that when you rent a room, maybe you can rent an apartment here as well. So anybody watching this that could give me that information, that would be fantastic. But I've, that's what it looks like. It looks like the hell tower and this oasis are connected. Thank you. 
So at the moment we're here. Now this this complex here mainly is to do with um, the sales office. There were some office buildings. I think there's like a, there was a solicitors. There was something around the back there. We'll have a look at. But on on this bigger map where we are here now. So w when we drove in through the main entrance, there was like a, a holiday sort of rentals here. These places here uh, are residential areas. Now we're going. We haven't. Look, we're going to go back and have a look at the hotel. But the hotel is a golf club. <coughs> um, You've got the golf academy here, and I think that's also where they do the practicing, where they're in the, um, you know, they're in those. <laughs> I forgot what you call it now. It, I call it the range, where they whack the ball to see how far it goes. I'll, I'll probably get back to that. A driving range. A driving range. That's what it is. Why they call it the academy, but that's that's where the driving range is. Uh, and obviously here was the oasis, here was the Spanish village. They haven't got marked up there for some reason. It's a massive complex, you know. We I mean, me and Steve drove right around, a bit further out as well. But we'll have a look around here. But it doesn't look like lots open today because it's a bank holiday. This was the Spaniard, but looking at that, that's been shut a long time. Because upstairs there used to be like um, an eating area upstairs, but no, not now. So we come down to the driving range bit. So there's a bar and a coffee shop, but uh, obviously not open. Got a Coke machine. into the residential area again I think these are all holiday apartments they got communal pools so anyway I hope you enjoyed that we've sort of me and Steve have gone around the whole complex we've done uh, a bit of the golf course we've done the hotel the golf club the sports center area we Spanish village the um, oasis, some of the residential areas. So we've given a good scope of it all. As you can see, it's midday. I'm amazed with all these communal pools here. There's four of them, would you believe? Nobody about. Why? I don't know, because today's a public holiday. I can understand why some of the places were shut. But um, yeah. Anyway, as I always say, guys, you've got to keep watching. We're just going to miss something. Me and Steve, we're going to move on to another place. So, as we always say, adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. We'll catch you next time. Hasta luego.